Hi guys, I want to talk about something actually uh, unexpectedly serious. Um, so for the past couple of months I've uh, been dealing with hives, like allergic reaction hives. Um, but these aren't just like any hives, this is like hives from like unknown cause. So it started with me thinking these were bed bug bites about two months or three months ago um, in this apartment in Hamilton. And the only issue with that was I couldn't find any evidence of bed bugs. Uh, but nevertheless, they, they kind of felt and looked similar to bed bug bites. They disappeared within 24 hours for me. Um, and I got them while I was sleeping. That was, that was the main thing. Um, I didn't get them during the day. It's only I woke up with these bites on my arms. And... Uh, so I got an extermination service here, they sprayed, and I was still getting bit, so I called another service, and they actually looked uh, around, and they, they said they can't find any evidence of bed bugs. Um, so I was getting bit on and off. Um, what really did for me is when my partner was here, um, staying in Hamilton, he had not gotten bitten at all, and I was still getting these bites on my arms. Um, even when I moved back in Toronto, and, and over winter break when I moved back in Toronto, the bites started getting worse and worse. They would cover my arms, they would cover my chest, my knees, my feet, and they were super itchy and I would get them on my hands basically everywhere. And so that's when I went into a walk-in clinic and she, the doctor there, immediately identified it as hives, gave me extra strength uh, reactin, like 20 milligrams cetirizine, uh, and it's, that's a H1, H2 antihistamine, doesn't make you drowsy. Uh, she also gave me a five-day course of prednisone, uh, which is an immunosuppressant steroid, corticosteroid. Um, so uh, I had already taken um, Reactin and Benadryl before, before I knew they were hives, and it, they didn't really seem to do anything. The only thing that really helped was this five days of steroids. And I, I, was, I l was looking up online about hives and, you know, there's like chronic hives which last longer than six weeks and then there's acute hives which are more likely due to an allergic reaction. The thing is, if mine were due to allergic reaction, I can't find any changes I made in my diet or detergents or bedding or any, any change. It just, these started appearing out of the blue. I, I can't, I, I've been racking my mind and I've done small tests, I've slept on non-down beds, I've done this, I've, I've taken sesame out of my diet for a day. Nothing, nothing works. So, um, after this, I was hoping that maybe it was a psychosomatic thing, that after these five days on prednisone, since I could assure myself that it wasn't bed bugs, I would not freak out about it anymore, and somehow that would help. And it did. So after five days, I had a week's grace period, and then, uh, and then it started. Like, I started waking up with them all over again. And now they came back with vengeance. I had one on, the, on, the, on my back the size of a golf ball, like the size of a baseball, a massive hive. And these things are super itchy. They covered like, I'd say like 60% of my body. My face wasn't involved, thankfully. But uh, they started getting so bad that I couldn't sleep. Uh, and I was just scratching and scratching and they would, they would be in between my fingers and I would have to like scissor my fingers like this in the middle of the night and just sit up in bed and just scratch and scratch. It, it's just oh, like mind, like your skin is boiling in, in itch. It's horrifying and just a horrible thing. It's not life threatening, but it's just extremely uncomfortable and, and it impacts you like, like, I, like I'm a wreck the next day. Um, and uh, so after these five days and after this week of grace, uh, they started coming back again, this time with vengeance, and I would even get them during the day. Before, I used to get them just at night, but now I even saw a couple emerging during the day. Still, the majority of the time I get them is at night. So, I don't know what to do at this point, because at this point I meet the diagnostic criteria for chronic urticaria, which is chronic hives, which is hives lasting longer than six weeks. If you read into it, you see there's a whole bunch of causes for it. It could be autoimmune, it could be my, my own body is just reacting randomly. Um, it's rare, and they say it's rarely due to an allergen if it's lasting this long. So regardless, uh, I was kind of at an impasse because if I go back to the walk-in clinic, they're going to prescribe me more prednisone, and they're just going to view it as an allergy, as something that I could, I could find out the cause and not, you know, and just take take the medicine and I'll be fine after because I'll remove the cause from my life. But it's not identifiable like that. 
So, uh, my dad has contacts, thankfully, and uh, he, I'm going to see an allergist soon, but um, it was either an allergist or a dermatologist. See, the thing is, I don't want to do allergy tests. I mean, I can, but it's not going to help at this point, because it, these are just chronic hives, idiopathic, like just caused by nothing. I, like, you don't know what the cause is. Um, but yeah, it really, really freaked me out. I'm on prednisone again. I woke up today with, with a decent amount. I'm clear now, thankfully. The prednisone really helps. But it's not good staying on corticosteroids for too long. I don't know, you probably can't see anything. They all disappeared. They used to be on the palm. You can see like... No, you can't. I'm not even... I'll do a video in the morning and show you guys how it looks. Um, but... Uh, <coughs> But yeah, I, I just looking on YouTube and looking for, for people, uh, for other videos on the subject. And I found a few. I found someone who, uh, if you search it, you, you get this woman who talks about how a naturopath helped her autoimmune urticaria. Um, the thing is, I kind of want to go the conventional route before I do the, uh, before I say, okay, modern medicine can't help me, let's do the naturopath. I don't know, that's just me. I, I, I want to uh, get this checked out by a doctor first because a lot of these inferences I'm making are on my own. So, But uh, yeah, it's like it's, <laughs> it's, it's like it's seemingly harmless issue that can really mess you up. Like I'm just like I have I have a 10 day prescription for prednisone. So that means I have 10 days of symptom relief. But, like, I got to get that appointment fast because I can't go to school if I'm covered. Like, I will just be itching all day. It looks bad. Like, my hands are dotted everywhere. It just looks like I have a disease, even though it's not something that's contagious or anything. It's just my own body fighting against me. It's an autoimmune thing. But just completely unexpected and just so fast that this happened. I just, like, I'm in shock, really. Like, I don't really... I don't know. It's just, I've never had anything like this before. I've never had any autoimmune disorders or anything like that. Um, I was thinking maybe it's the medication because I'm getting off effects or at this point. I know I'm off it now and I've been off it for a few weeks. I'm feeling really good. So I'm thinking maybe it's anxiety related because if I'm off it, then my anxiety is going to increase and maybe that'll cause the hives. But I'm feeling good. Like I'm not feeling bogged down by anything. Um, if anything, the hives are stressful. <laughs> so, so it's kind of a, you know, a vicious, a vicious circle. If it is stress related, I really don't think it is because I don't know. I just wake up with these things. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give maybe peace of mind to anybody out there who's, who's going through stuff like this. For me, I just, for me, the only thing that's helping right now is immunosuppressant drugs, <laughs> something that's going to calm your system, uh, down. And, uh, that's prednisone for me, but it's really not good to stay on prednisone. These doctors are only giving me five day courses at a time, and I probably. But the thing is, it's it's for me, uh, it's cost versus benefit. So yeah, will I gain a little weight on prednisone? Probably. Will it mess up my system? Probably. But it's that compared to being completely non-functional and your body's completely covered in hives. So right now I'm kind of in limbo right now. I know it's a I, th I know it's a patch. I know the prednisone is just a band-aid. It's literally just stopping the issue because it's wiping out your immune system for a temporary uh, time while you're on it. So luckily I'm having no side effects from the prednisone, but I gotta get on this issue fast after because I can't be on prednisone for the rest of my life. Um, and luckily people with chronic idiopathic urticaria find remission within a year, 50% are, have it completely resolved within a year, whether on its own or with help, I don't know, but hopefully this isn't going to last long. It's lasted at least three months now, um, and I'm hoping to find some drug or um, something for relief. I've, I've researched a couple of things. One that looks really promising is this omelizumab. It's a, uh, it's a secondary antibody, I think, that basically goes and attaches to your body's own IgE antibodies, and those are the antibodies that cause histamine release from your mast cells, which cause allergic reactions and stuff like that. So this actually just got approved for chronic urticaria in 2014, this omelizumab. Uh, 
it's an injection, it's a subcutaneous injection, and it lasts for four months. So you got to, every four months, you got to get uh, a, a new injection. But the side effects are much fewer than staying on prednisone or going on chemotherapy drugs, which is another recommendation for this condition um, to basically wipe out your immune system with chemotherapy drugs. Something I'm not really willing to do. Uh, this amolizumab uh, has a lot of promise and uh, this doctor I'm going to I was looking online at his research papers and he deals he dealt with cases of people with chronic urticaria who do not respond to antihistamines who find relief from prednisone and also found relief from this omelizumab he hosted this study so he's like the guy to go to so luckily I have a uh, end in sight the only reason I'm not bringing this up now and not before is because I, I don't really like posting videos without something that's fully realized and I have a backstory and I have suggestions and I have, you know, an end in sight, basically. So that's why I haven't, I've kind of been keeping you guys in the dark on it. And uh, But yeah, there's not many videos online about this. And I know this is not, this is, isn't really what my channel's about, but it's something that really affects me and uh, yeah like I'm screwed without this prednisone right now and uh, <laughs> so I I doubt any of my subscribers have gone through this the incidence of this is like 0 0.5 to 1% of the population that has uh, this chronic idiopathic urticaria just hit me I don't know <laughs> like I'm still it's just something I got to deal with and am dealing with slowly <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to keep you guys uh, updated and uh, offer any solace to if someone finds this video um, that uh, there, there are options out there but you do have to uh, you do have to take it to higher level doctors as in you can't just go to a walk-in clinic and keep on the prednisone you gotta get a referral to a dermatologist or allergist because this is serious and you gotta figure things out and low-level GPs low level, whatever you want to call them. General practitioners aren't going to know what to do with this chronic uh, urticaria. They're going to, it, it's indistinguishable from regular allergic urticaria, hives that just appear after ingesting something that you're, you're allergic to or touching something. It's indistinguishable. Chronic, acute, they all look the same. Hives are all the same. It's just the patterns, how long they last. That's what's going to make a difference to your um, treatment regime and uh, what you're going to use to find relief. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions on this or if anybody else has gone through this. Um, I, I, I would show you guys the hives, but like I said, the prednisone really wipes them out. Thankfully, this is good. This is a good thing. I don't want to make a video where I'm just completely covered. You could search up the images. They're, they're kind of nasty. Um, there's some on my stomach, but I don't think you guys want to see my stomach right now. And I don't want to show it, so I won't. Uh, yeah, uh, so other than that, I've been keeping, uh, I'm happy. Uh, things are great. It's just just a new issue in my life that I have to deal with, and uh, I am dealing with. <laughs> and uh, that's basically it. Uh, I know it's a completely random video out of the blue, and uh, now there's chronic urticaria videos on my channel. Who knew? Anyways, see you later, guys.